Hello there, it's Stuart here and, and Dan from Firehound Forge uh, and we're going to be making a few things today. So, um, Dan. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm not bad. Absolutely lovely day. First time trading at Curious Pastimes and it's been lovely. I tell you what, uh, yeah, I mean the weather's been incredible anyway. Yeah. It's, it's been absolutely superb. Um, so, talk us a little bit through this this kit that you've, you've got here. Right, yeah. Well, um, I'm a blacksmith. I've been a blacksmith for five years now and this is my kit. Uh, I'm the youngest member of the team, as it were. We've got, uh, we've got uh, the, the second youngest is this forge here. She's a, a Hayden and Orbals. She's about 80 to 90 years old, I would argue. The bellows are 137 years old this year, made in 1881 Birmingham. Okay. And even older than that is my anvil. She is somewhere between 280 to 320 years old, give or take. Okay, so this is, 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 is about as authentic and original as you can get yeah, at the moment. It's a bit of a mixed match, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, she keeps me going, keeps me mostly out of trouble, and she forges <laughs> some pretty ironwork on occasion as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. So if somebody wanted to commission a piece from you, how would they actually go about doing that? Uh, the best way to do it would either be go to my Facebook page, which is firehoundforge at facebook.com, or uh, if you can go onto my email, which is firehoundforgeoutlook.com, uh, commission me. I'm, uh, I do a lot of markets. I do about four or five markets a month. Uh, I think I'm one of the few blacksmiths crazy enough to do that, but it means I get to meet the general public and get out. Um, but yes, I do commissions of any small scale historical or contemporary uh, items so, or small repairs. I, anything that comes through the door. I was told by one of my tutors, who will remain nameless, uh, never turn a job down, even if you don't know how to do it. Take it on, and then figure out how you're going to do it. And yeah. that's good advice, but it's landed me in some situations. Yeah, it's very good advice. 